Hey guys, this is Thorn. Welcome back. In this episode, we are going to look at the fill command. So first of all, let's look at the syntax for the command. So let's just type in fill and hit enter. Okay, we see here we have a x1, y1, z1, followed by an x2, y2, z2, a tile name, which is basically a glorified way of saying a block name, the data value for the tile name, which is an optional input. Then we have old block handling, and we'll talk more about that in a second. And then data tag, which is how we can define particular data tags for the block of our choosing. So, first of all, let's talk about the x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. Now, these are two three-dimensional points where we want to fill every block between those two points with a particular block of our choosing. So, for example, if I wanted to place a gold block down here to represent x1, y1, z1, and I want to make a nice looking cube here, so let's just fill this up a couple of blocks and destroy these. We can see this could represent our x2, y2, z2. Let's grab the coordinates for these. So hit our F3, look at the block, and we can see we've got this block here is at minus 260, 68, 248. This one is at minus 256, 72, 252. And if we were to fill this area with a block of our choosing, so let's now put this into an example. And here we're going to look at Okay, here's these two coordinates put in for x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2, tile name, I'm going to be using the ice block, data value, I'm just giving it a zero, and then I'm using the replace old block handling type. So if I were to replace or delete that replace and hit tab, you can see here all the different options. So we've got replace, destroy, keep, hollow, and outline. And how about we look at different examples for all of those. So first of all, let's look at replace, which is the default. If I then hit enter on that, it's, you can see it's filled this complete area here with the ice block. Now there is a limitation of how many blocks you can fill at once. It is around the 4000 block mark. So what I could do is change the uh, Y coordinate for the Y2 value here. Maybe I want to change this to 80. You can see that we've now filled this area with a lot more blocks. Uh, 200 blocks in fact, and then we can fill up to uh, 4096 blocks at once using this command as of Minecraft 4.8. Okay, so what about the other options? So we could see that we had destroy as an option. So if I were to use destroy, and maybe I could change this ice block to, let's use the web block. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so what that has done, it has destroyed every block and replaced it with a a cobweb and the interesting thing is with destroy is it actually drops the item so if I were now to run this command again and rather than destroying it and replacing it with a web we replace it back with the ice block what we'll get is all the items from those blocks will fly off and and drop to the ground as if you were mining them out yourself so that's pretty interesting maybe it's a cheaty way to do some mining in your world um, but yeah, that's, that's a fun way to get a whole bunch of items for your blocks. So what else is there? Let's look at the other options. Okay, so we've looked at replace and destroy. If we were to use keep command, and before we run that, what we might do is, let's just clear out a couple of blocks here. So these are just some air blocks. In fact, we'll put in a couple of gold blocks in here, some wool blocks, just to make it nice and colorful. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some blocks in here. Now let's look at what would happen if we used the keep command. So let's use keep and let's change this. Let's don't use ice again. Let's use quartz. So let's use a quartz ore block. Okay, so what that has done is any air block that's inside this fill area that is, um, yeah, that is an air block and it doesn't have a block in it, it gets replaced with the fill block type of our choosing. So if I were to clear out some more space in here and run the command again, this whole area just where I've cleared out will be replaced with the quartz ore. So that's pretty interesting. But there's more. There's more options that we have available. So let's look at some others. So keep, well now we have hollow. So what the hollow command will do, in fact, let's now use a different block here again. Let's say we want the wool block and we will give a data a value of this time because we want a different color. So let's use five, which I think is green. There we go, we've got some nice lime green wool here. And since that we've used the 
hollow command, what we will find that is every block inside uh, this particular fill area, excluding the very outside block for the fill area, will be now filled with air. So if we hollow this out, we can see, look at that, it's hollow, <laughs> as, as the old handling name uh, mentioned, is that we now have this a hollow structure. So I cleared any block here, so if I were to put in some other random blocks and run the command again, we could see that it's now replaced all those inside blocks with air. So I'm not sure what you could use this for, maybe it would be interesting in map making or some creative building. Um, but there is one more type to look at, so let's look at that. So let's now look at um, the last one here was outline. So what outline does is it's sort of the opposite to what the hollow command does. So if I were to now use, let's say, let's use a redstone block for our fill block. Whoa, I think I, oh, that's right. <laughs> because I provided a invalid data value for that particular block. So if I were to change that to zero, we've now got this filled correctly. Now, this is a, it looks very much like a hollow structure, but now if I were to put blocks inside this, some random blocks, there we go, beautiful, it's a work of art, and I want to run the command again, what we'll find is those inside blocks are left untouched. So the fill will just put in the very outside layer of uh, blocks of our choosing, but it leaves the inside blocks, including the air blocks and any custom blocks intact. It won't touch those whatsoever. So let's now look at an example where we're defining the data tags as well for the block that we're replacing. So for example, here if I go in and put in a command, and I won't walk you through the specifics, but basically it's the same fill command, except I'm going to fill it with a chess block and I'm going to be destroying the existing blocks, so it'll be destroying all those redstone blocks, and I'm going to be filling these chests with a diamond sword and some apples. So there's quite a long command, and let's just hit go on this in a command block. I'm using command block because of the length of the command, I can't use the chat window. Whoa! <laughs> and we can see this is what happens when you try and fill this whole area with chests. You can see it kind of freaks out when it tries to join them and you can see it's actually rendered some incorrectly here. So I can see there's a block here. In fact, if I used a pit block on this, yep, the chest actually thinks it's there. Whoa! <laughs> and we've got some pretty weird rendering stuff now with all these chests that are sort of joined together here. But if we try and look at <laughs> these other ones, we can see here that we've got uh, these chests with a sharpness five sword enchanted inside them. So <laughs> That's pretty interesting how, how all these chests try to, to, yeah, somehow merge and morph into each other. Um, but yeah, that's some fun things you can do with the fill command. And of course, there's always to get rid of your area. What you could do is change your uh, tile ID to be just their block. And let's just use destroy. Gone. <laughs> so we have all these chests. All these entities down here and they've all been destroyed and I can pick them up so <laughs> um, but it doesn't destroy um, you can see here I don't have apples or the diamond swords that were inside these chests so those seem to get lost when you use the destroy command but if you used replace you wouldn't get any uh, items at all so for example if I were to rerun this command um, no, this command down here in this command block to Create all these chests. My frame rate is going crazy at the moment. And if I were to, rather than using destroy, if I used replace, I won't get any extra uh, pickups uh, from destroying all those blocks. So there we have it. That's the fill command in a nutshell. Uh, I think it'll be pretty useful for the map makers out there and anyone that really wants to muck around with being uh, creative with the different fill types that we have available. And yeah, I think it could be interesting. Um, to muck around with and start to use in your worlds, particularly if you're map making or creating some kind of creative structures. And yeah, I think it will be rather interesting to muck around with. So I'll leave the video there. Check the, the playlist, the command playlist that I have available to view a whole bunch of other commands and their uses. And until next time, see you guys and stay awesome. All right, see you guys. Cheers.
Oops. Thank <music> you.